Using partial fraction expansion, we're going to find the Laplace transform for the following function here, s squared plus 6x plus 9 divided by s minus 1 times the quantity s minus 2 times the quantity s plus 4. Okay, and what we mean by a partial fraction expansion is that when you take this function, find the roots of the denominator, then you can put them in individual form shown here as a fraction of these roots of the equation. So it's a over s minus 1, b over s minus 2, and c over s plus 4. Now putting this in a common denominator to find the inverse Laplace transform, So we have s minus 1, s minus 2, and s plus 4. Then we have a as s minus 2, s plus 4. Then we have b, s minus 1, s plus 4. And then we have plus c, s minus 1 over s minus 2. And that's the result of putting these f individual functions in terms of a common denominator. Now we can compare co coefficients of the powers of s on both sides of the inequality, as we have here. However, we can use a shortcut in where we can set to one of the roots for each of these equations. So for s equal to 1, s equal to 2, and then s equal to minus 4, we can see what happens. When s equal minus 1, this middle term goes away as well as this last term. So all we're here when we substitute is that we have a 1 minus 2 s plus 4 in the numerator. Since that's the case, we have, oops, not s, but one plus four, all right? And that has to equal to a constant when we substitute it here. That's one plus six plus nine. And this all implies that a times negative 1 times 5 is equal to negative 5a is equal to 16 which implies a is equal to minus 16 over 5. We can do the same thing when s is equal to 2. Here the first term in this numerator goes away as well as the last term. So now we have b 2 minus 1 2 plus 4 when we substitute s in this middle term here and then we we'll do it on the same thing here for s squared plus 6x plus 9 and we substitute s for 2. So that's just 4 plus 12 plus 9 which implies that b is equal to time, times negative 1 and 6, so that's minus 6, or plus 6, I'm sorry. That's equal to 4 plus 12 plus 9, 21 or 25, or b is equal to 25 over 6. Then finally, for c equal minus 4, we see that the first term and the second term goes away. And that leaves c equals minus 4 minus 1, substituting minus 4 in this last term. Minus 4 minus 2 is equal to 4 squared, which is 16, and minus 6 times minus 4 minus 24 plus 9 which implies that C we have negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5 
times negative 6 or 30c is equal to 16 minus 24 is minus 8 minus 8 plus 9 is equal to 1 or c is equal to 1 over 30. Now let's finish up this problem where we substitute a, b, and c in this equation right here. So now we have the inverse Laplace transform of negative 16 over 5 all over s minus 1 plus 25 over 6 over s minus 2 plus 1 over 30th all over s plus 4. And then we note from our Laplace inverse Laplace transforms that this is corresponds to negative 16 over 5 e to the t plus 25 over 6 e to the 2t plus 1 over 30 e to the minus 4t. And that's our inverse Laplace transform for this expression here. And the corresponding inverse Laplace transform of this function is this, shown here. That can completes this example for finding the inverse Laplace transform using partial fraction expansion.